Kweni Akkashi, written by my favourite poet, Shivkumar Bradalvi, that carries too much language that can't be translated. As I put my kameez on, it lines my body's curves, coming down with Lahore and Amritsar, a bit like my mother's Salvar kameez from an old photo, where she stands in between as she is the middle child that has the worry of the moon. The photo brings old Delhi where poetry lingers in Sanskrit, Latin, origin washes away, no fantasidal or goodbyes. I remember my Naniji holding me and calling me a ray of light, Giran. I see my Dadiji looking at me through the mirror smiling. She lost her husband so young, yet she remains so strong and raised two sons by herself, working hard day and night. And as I place my Dupatta by my side, I feel my ancestors next to me traveling through to worlds of life and death, coming at the platform of reality. And I stand between two parallel lines, bringing a fusion of language from every Mahola area that they set foot on, from Lahore, Delhi, Amritsar, and finally, Birmingham. Yes, sometimes I write for myself, but mostly I write for my mother. I write for my ancestors that spill ink in every poem.